So far, we haven't really done anything cool with a node. So we're about to start doing that now. We have three nodes here. We're going to be making some more. And you might be tempted, because we have lots of objects, lots of nodes, maybe we should make an array of nodes so we have a place to put them. However, what we're going to use nodes for is to actually build the data structure. And remember, node had data. It also had another node. So how do we use that? Let's think about how we built nodes. So I absolutely could just leave it like this right here where I just make three nodes separately. Uh, that's totally fine. But after we make node two, what I'm going to do, take node one, and I'm going to do dot. Now remember, over in node, we don't normally do this, but the object and the data are, or the object and the node are both public. And what that lets us do in this code, we can do node one dot, and we can get the next node. Now we call the constructor that only had data, it didn't have a next node. So I'm gonna set node one next equal to node two. Let's forget node three for now. We'll use it in a little bit. So now I wanna print out both nodes, but I'm gonna do it in a slightly different way. So I'm just gonna label these as nodes. So I'm gonna print out node one plus, uh, let's put a, some space in here, maybe a comma. Now I could type node two, that'll print out node two just fine. And maybe we'll do that just to check it out. This should not be surprising, this output right here. Node one, node two. Okay, no big deal. There's another way to access node two. Remember node two can be gotten by typing node one dot next. So we can do node one dot next and this should produce the exact same output. There we go, node one and node two. All right, something else we can do. We don't actually need to store the variable node two. We do need to make a new node and we do need to set node one dot next equal to the new node. And the way, one of the ways we can do it is just directly put in that new node right there. So we no longer need to declare node two. All right, one last thing I'm gonna do. I'm really, in the end, I'm really only gonna have one node. So let's just call this node without a number at the end. All right, so node.next is this new node with two in it. Probably should start these at zero, but that's okay. And this should have the exact same output that we just saw. Okay, node one, node two, there we go. All right, what about this node three? Well, we can play the same game. What I cannot do, I don't have node two anymore, so I cannot do node two dot next equals node three, because node two doesn't exist. However, this node two that we built, we can access it with node dot next. So I'm gonna replace node two with node dot next. And this may make your head hurt a little bit, there's node.next.next. Dot .next. Order of operations, it always starts with the object itself. It's going to get the next off that object. And you could parenthesize it like this. And it's going to get the next node and then the next node. And so this will start out as null and then it will become uh, this new node with three in it. So how do we access that? We can come over here and basically do exactly what we did before. So I'm just gonna grab this, paste it twice, except node next next. So this is gonna make your head hurt a little bit at first. I just wanna warn you that it's just part of the learning process with dynamic data structures because they're not sitting on top of an array, they are linked together, and this should print out one, two, and three. 
boom, one, two, three. Okay, so I encourage you to build a couple more nodes and put them at the end of this.